This is a slam dunk. You got to take a look at this book. Hey, it's Matt with MJZ Comics. Welcome back to Speculation Sunday. Today, we're going to talk about new releases for the upcoming week, April 5th. If you like these videos, make sure you like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. First book we're going to talk about is Scarlet Witch number four. Now, this is the first full appearance of Scythia, leader of the Bakai. She had a cameo appearance in issue number three before this, and there are multiple variants that we'll get into, but a little bit of backstory on this book. Just when the Scarlet Witch thinks she's shielded Darcy Lewis from their new enemies vendetta, Scythia returns, covered in armor made from the same anti-magic rock Wanda's been studying. Can Wanda defend Darcy and herself against a warrior who's immune to magic? So, sounds like an interesting storyline. I haven't been reading this one, but a first full appearance of a new character. Um, once again, cameo appearance was in issue number three. And there are a few variants of this book. There's a 1 in 50 variant with like a classic Scarlet Witch on the cover. And then there is a Alex Ross 1 in 100, which is a Magneto sketch variant. I think this is the one to get if you're into variants. Get this Alex Ross Magneto variant. But for this book, really, I think you can get away with the regular cover. But like I said, if you're an Alex Ross fan, check out that sketch cover. It is absolutely gorgeous. Next book is Captain America, Sentinel of Liberty, number 11. Now, this is the debut of a new Sharon Carter suit inspired by the Destroyer. And also, it is a prelude of the Cold War crossover event, which continues in Captain America, Cold War Alpha, issue number 1. So, once again, debut of a new Sharon Carter suit. Um, sounds like it's got an interesting storyline that continues from Captain America Cold War Alpha. And this is kind of a cool cover, red Captain America on there. And there are some variants as well with this one. Once again, Alex Ross 1 in 100 sketch variant. Now this one's got MODOK in the background. A few um, classic Spider-Man villains, Doc Ock, Lizard, looks like Mephisto. And I believe that's Sandman down there as well. So really cool variant covered by Alex Ross. He's probably one of the most popular you know, his artists out there with his realism, his realistic style. And these sketch variants are just absolutely amazing. So check those out. Once again, Captain America, Sentinel of Liberty, issue 11. Next book is Planet of the Apes, number one. Now, I know there's a lot of Planet of the Apes fans out there. Um, I know my parents used to love Planet of the Apes. I love the old movies. Now, this book here, very interesting. Issue one. This is Marvel resuming publishing Planet of the Apes stories for the first time since 1977. So hard to believe Marvel hasn't published anything Planet of the Apes related since the 70s. So this is kind of a continuation of that in present time. So Planet of the Apes number one, great cover. If you're a fan of those old movies or even the newer remakes, it's a number one. That's why we're recommending it. Planet of the Apes number one. Check that book out. If you like these videos, make sure you check out all our Speculation Sunday videos where we go over the new books for Comic Book Week, especially the hot ones, the keys, the first appearances, the ones we think are worth picking up. Next book is Spider-Gwen Shadow Clones issue number two. So Spider-Gwen, she kind of goes with Miles Morales, extremely popular right now, especially with the younger crowd. Now, this is a key issue. This is the first appearance of a Sandman version of Gwen Stacy. Spider-Man, we're always talking about these characters. They're hot. Spider-Man's probably the most collected character in comic books, and this is a first appearance. So check this one out, Spider-Gwen, Shadow Clones, issue number two. Once again, there are multiple covers of this book. You can see this character, this Sandman version of Gwen Stacy is on the cover. And there is a land variant, which I think is the money book as far as this character is concerned. 1 in 100, so this is probably going to be a pricey book. Probably at least $50, maybe more. She is still on the regular cover, so I would pick up the regular one. And you could probably skip the variant, but the land one, if you got the money, check that one out. Once again, Spider Gwen Shadow Clones, issue number two, first appearance of a Sandman version of Gwen Stacy. And this has got to be the best book of the week. This is a slam dunk. you got to take a look at this book. Spider-Man, issue number seven. Now, in the weeks leading up to this book, this was being promoted as the first appearance of a new hero that the writer has promoted as being significant and will appear on the spoiler variant. Well, 
We have the spoiler variant now. Take a look at this book here. So first appearance of a new character called Spider Boy. And he's on the cover of the spoiler variant. He kind of has a little bit of a Miles Morales type look to him. But he's got like sneakers on and a different costume. And this is probably, this has got to be the book of the week. This is the one you got to pick up. Um, I took a closer look at this here. The all new, all different Spider Boy of the 616. He's got strange new spider powers, secret ties to dark corners of Spider-Man lore, and a story that's all his own that's right about to begin. So Spider-Man 7, get the spoiler variant with Spider-Boy on the cover. This is the money book. This is the one to get. Once again, of all the books for April 5th, get Spider-Man 7. That's the one we think is the best one to get. Once again, these are our opinions. We're not telling you to get these. This is what we do to collect, fund the hobby, grow our collection. And hopefully sell these books if they go up in value so that we can continue to buy great keys. In the last part of our video, for all you long box hunters out there, we'd like to recommend a book that you can find at your local comic book store, in the back issues, in the long boxes, at a flea market, or even in your own collection. And that book is Avengers 269 from July of 86. Now if you saw Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, I'm not going to give any spoilers away, but obviously this is a significant book. Battle of Kang versus Amortis, Origin of Kang as Ramatut. So a couple key things going on here with Kang as far as Battle of Kang versus Amortis, which is another version of Kang, and the Origin of Kang as Ramatut, the version that goes back to ancient Egypt. So I think this is a good book to look for. This is not a hot book. I saw this on eBay. You could probably get a low-grade copy for under $20. You might be able to find this in long boxes, in the bins, at flea markets somewhere for a great price. I think this is a really good book. Check it out. Avengers 269. Significant Kang key. And you're not breaking the bank. You're not going after the first appearance. You know, not going after a Silver Age old book. This is a great one to round out your collection and also get some Kang key appearances, key issues to your collection. If you like these videos, check out our other Speculation Sunday videos where we go over the hot books that we think are worth picking up for the week. We really do appreciate your support. Please like and subscribe. MJZ out.